What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and to another video. Hope you guys are having a good day. I have already reviewed Drogba, Makalele and Petr Cech. So if you want to check that out, check it out. We also have a training guide and an analysis of them. Let me know if you want to pack open in as well, because I would like to get Drogba. I already have Makalele, not worried about Cech, but Drogba would be a bit of a beast. I do like those type of players and he's kind of unique as you'll see here. But yeah, if you are staying free to play, if you don't want to spin coins and you don't want to spend anything, or if you don't have any free coins, my throat is really sore. If you don't want to spend any coins and you don't want to like, you know, um, clear an agent or whatever, and you don't have any free coins that you've earned or free coins that you've got for login bonuses and stuff, you just want to stay GP. Uh, I definitely think there are some really good alternatives for these players. So we're going to take a look at an alternative for Drogba, an alternative for Makalele and an alternative for Czech. Obviously, these players aren't going to stack up exactly right. Because I think obviously when you look at Drogba, he's got very unique uh, stats and a very unique kind of blend of stats, a variety of stats. Obviously with the physical contact, but then he's also got the finishing, heading and um, offensive awareness, which goes extremely high. And I think what they've done with the offensive awareness this year is if a player is kind of slow and his balance is kind of low, they've given him very high offensive awareness to make really good runs. And sometimes you're better off because you can only control one player at, at any given time. Sometimes you're better off to have players that aren't as fast and don't have really high speed and acceleration, as in the case of Drogba, but have excellent defensive awareness. I've noticed this coming up against Thomas Muller from Bayern Munich as well, and it will be something that I do a video on. But anyway, on to the good stuff, right? So if you are staying free to play and you are not wanting to spin for any of these boys, I definitely recommend for Drogba. We're going to start with Drogba, and we are going to start with the main man himself, Cristiano Ronaldo, who is a very good alternative for GP for Drogba, right? Now, you might ask why he is, but obviously just taking a quick look at his stats, we will be able to tell very, very quickly that, you know, there's very, there's a lot of similarities between these cards. Obviously, the first one is the, the height. They're very similar in height. Obviously, Drogba's 189, Ronaldo's 187. Um, they both have goal poacher, so which is the same playing style here. On top of that, they also have a lot of skills, player skills that they have as well. But stats are the big one here, right? So the main thing that we're going to be looking at here with Drogba when he's maxed out, this is how I've trained him up as I did in the review video. You've got offensive awareness 97, finishing 90, acceleration 79, and then physical contact jump and header all fairly high in the mid 80s, right? So in order for us to actually get to that level with Cristiano Ronaldo, we're going to have to pump in a lot of stats into dexterity, into shooting. But when we do, this is the maxed out version that we get of this just base card, Cristiano Ronaldo. He's under 500,000 GP, just at the sweet spot there of half a milli GP. Um, 91 offensive awareness. He's faster than Drogba with 81 acceleration. Speed is very similar. Balance, as you can see here, Drogba's is worse. And that is a key one, but Ronaldo's stamina is worse. And then you've also got two less in finishing for Ronaldo um, and a four less in header or two less in header as well, I think. Um, so that's something that you can keep in mind. But trust me, lads, I've played with Cristiano Ronaldo a lot. And apart from his form being poor, I would definitely be playing him a lot more because he does have standard form. It does kind of ruin the card a little. But I have him on my bench now going forward. If I am doing a new series, I will be doing Cristiano Ronaldo in the squad, I think, because a lot of people are asking for Ronaldo and Messi um, to see them up front. And Ronaldo just scores so many goals when you're simming games as well. That's a good tip. He scores literally a goal a game for me when I'm simming games, even against a legend difficulty if I'm just simming uh, the weekly event. Right, next up, we have Claude Makélélé. Makélélé is a really good player, lads. And as I said in my review of him, he's kind of a hard player to replicate because his stats are so high in the areas that you just need while his other stats, such as passing and such as dribbling, are fairly decent for what you need him for. I mean, you're not going to be taking on players with Makalele. Makalele is the same way as a defensive midfielder, uh, or sorry, as a centre back. Your defensive midfielder, when he gets the ball, he should just be passing the ball around. If you are playing an anchorman or a destroyer type of playing style, as Makalele is, you're not going to be playing the Busquets role, or you're not going to play, be playing the Tonali role from Italy. Um, where you're going to be spraying passes around. You know, if you are using that, then you're not going to be using Makalele, so it kind of is irrelevant whether you need an alternative for him or not. You know, there's a lot of alternatives there, but I think if we are staying, obviously Ronaldo is like half a million, um, we are going to go to Barrios. Barrios is one of the most slept on players. He's been an absolute monster, I think, since Pez 20. Um, he was with Zenit, 
and with this uh, card you're going to start off at a 78 overall and we have trained him up to be an 88 overall defensive midfielder i think barrios is definitely one of the best players in the game if you're looking at him just pound for pound in the position that he plays like look at his card here right this is just his base standard card lads for fifty one thousand gp like it's a steal right if you don't have him in your in your squad even just to have him there definitely get him right firstly he's got double touch one touch pass and fighting spirit which is always key if you are looking for something with a bit more in that defensive midfielder role because obviously Makalele is a, is a is a really good stopper but Makalele is also able to play a bit of ball you know when he gets the ball at his feet he does have one touch pass and stuff like that where he's able to play the ball and true passing i think is one of his player skills with Barrios, he has that one touch pass he has got double touch so he's going to be able to play a little bit of ball as well but then you look at his defensive capabilities for a player that's fifty thousand gp lads unbelievable player gamesmanship don't mind that but we've got man marking interception blocker sliding tackle and acrobatic clearance so he's going to be able to get back he's able to play dmf he's able to play cmf he's able to play cb he's able to play right back he's got unwavering form i definitely think barris is probably one of the best pound for pound he's one of the best players in the game stat for stat he's also got a long ball expert so if you are simming a lot of games he will be able to spray passes around while still being very compact and when we max him out lads right this is what we've maxed him out as now there's a couple of different ways to train him up but we want to replicate him the exact same as Makalele. so our main goal here is to get his speed and acceleration up fairly decent his balance and stamina up fairly decent his passing up decent um by six we're doing the passing there to get it up to around that 80 mark that Makalele is at as you see there Makalele is 84 that's too high for barriers to go but we you know we're happy enough with the rest of it but look at the defensive stats like makalele has got 95 tackling 92 aggression 90 defensive awareness barrios has got 89 defensive awareness awareness 94 tackling and 90 aggression 94 defensive engagement so they're very similar cards obviously barrios um is going to be slightly worse but i like that barrios has got anchorman as well so if you are staying free to play i definitely recommend checking out barrios he's probably one of my you know the best hidden gems in the game especially for newcomers i'm going to be doing a new series on that as well players you need to buy when you're starting the game and last but not least we have petr check don't need to spend too much time on him because the only alternative i would have to petr check and to any goalie is donnarumma lads right same height 196 196 same weight 90 kg 90 kg um so he'll fit into the same short you have at your club defensive goalkeeper done as an offensive goalkeeper 400,000 gp and then the reflexes and the awareness are the only two that you really need to focus on obviously check is going to outperform him with the stats because he's an epic but 92 of goalkeeper awareness and 93 reflexes don has got 85 and 93 but donna does have better catching they've got the same clearing and donna has less reach but i still think that's donna Roma pulls off saves that no other keeper has pulled off for me i've you know got can i've got neuer allison ederson uh, I've got all the keepers. Uh, David De Gea can pull off some worldly saves as well, but I think Donna is still the man. And for that price, you know, you're going to be able to get, like, for under a million GP, if you wanted to get to three of these buys, you're talking 500, you're talking 400, and you're talking uh, 51,000 GP for all of them, right? So to me, I think it's a, it's, it's a no brainer. I definitely think that they're worth it if you wanted to stay free to play but let me know what you think if there's other alternatives that you guys recommend let me know and drop them in the comments below until next time lads hope you enjoyed this video peace